everybody again, this is Zenjin. I am back here today with another YouTube video. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up your modded switch. This is intended only for educational purposes. I will not be showing you how to get free games or put things like tinfoil on your switch. I'm just going to show you some basics. I use mine only for overclocking. You need some way to connect your switch to your computer. I prefer just straight SD card because then you don't have to worry about any lag. You can use faster ones to transfer rates better and all that good stuff. I have this little cheapy here. You can use a micro card adapter here, like one here, put it in here, or you can straight up use an SD micro SD card and drop it in here and then connect it to your computer. Or you can get fancy and use one of these that goes into your Type-C. Let's swap over to the computer now. All right, and we are back here now. We're on the PC. So once you have your SD card into your computer, you'll see it like so, because mine says USB drive I. It should be blank. You don't want to have anything in here. All right, now we're going to go to the Switchway website. This is where I get all my, every time they do an update, this is where I come to get my updates and all that. So this is for a mod chip. So you're going to click the second option. The first option is for V1s that don't require a mod chip, but they're rare. So you're going to click download. Once that's done, you'll see that. And then... The other place you want to go is my good buddy Dom. He has this all-in-one package, so we're going to download that as well. All right. Once those two are done, you're going to come back to your downloads folder. should show these two. You can right-click both of these and extract all. It only did the one, so I guess you got to do this one at a time. All right. Once they're all done, I like to delete the extracted files, like so. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to open up the copy to SD card folder. You're going to copy those, paste it, those contents, and you'll come back over to the switch by one. You're going to paste them there. That's all good. And then you're going to take these files, you're going to copy these files, and then you're going to put them on the root of your SD card. Shouldn't take too long. All right, once that's done, we're going to swap back to the other camera so I can show you the next step. All right, so after you insert your SD card, you're going to want to hit the power button. All right, it should boot up to this. The date and time don't matter. You can set it if you want. As this is for educational purposes, I don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, done. I also like to be able to see, so I go to options and adjust the backlight. Save. I also like, all right, once that's done. So first things first, you want to boot into your normal switch. So you want to go launch in there because you want to make sure everything's set up. Your SD card gets the appropriate drivers, your account and everything set up. All right, which mine is. That's all you got to do is boot here. Okay, and cool thing is I own a bunch of games, so I can literally go to the Switch shop, download my games, have them all on my route, and then when I make the emulated uh NAND that's going to clone all this. All this will already be installed. Link to my account. All right, so then let's get here. So I'm going to turn this off. Or in my case, I'm going to reboot it, which will bring us back to the Hikade menu. All right, now I'm going to go to EMU. So we're going to create one. So we're going to create it. We're going to do SD partition because this is going to format the SD card the correct way it needs to be set up. Okay. The OLED switches have 64 gigabytes, but you're going to want to do the 58 right there. And then you're going to go to next step. 
and then you're going to start it. You're going to hit the power button. All right, now it's just formatting everything. All right, so now that that's done, you want to close. And now you're going to go create again. And this time we're going to do an SD file. And this will take a minute. So I'm going to pause this video and come back once it's ready for the next step. This right here, checking for the available space, will take a while depending on the size of your SD card. Sometimes it's instance with 128. But when you start going up to 256 and 512, it takes longer. And you're going to wait until this, well goes up to 100 percent all right so once you're here you want to close all right and now we're going to try our boots so we're going to go to launch and go here and now we're going to wait and it should look exactly like it did before as the official except now it's a created NAND where you can't get banned. You can't, you know, connect to Nintendo servers, but you can still connect to Wi-Fi, install apps, you know, things like that. And that's all we want. And there you are. It looks exactly right. So now there are some hidden commands. So now let's get some packages going, you know, some basics. So to access this hidden menu, you're going to hit Z, L, Z, R, and down at the exact same time to pull up this hidden menu. Ignore this patch, it means nothing. You're going to come over here to easy setup. You're going to click on that. You have to also make sure you're on the internet, so you're going to want to go set up your Wi Fi and connect to it, otherwise, this won't work. Okay, then we're back completely out. Then you're going to do that again. ZL, ZR down to open the overlay. And now you're going to click on Easy Setup again. Now we've got all our software. So if you want to overclock, you'll install that. And here are some other just individual apps you can use. So if you want to do, you know, like 60 FPS, you're probably going to want to do the overclock installer install it all that takes a while and then when it's done it's going to reboot so just leave it alone and wait i'll probably uh speed this up i do own all these games as well Alright, so there's Dragon Quest, Tears of the Kingdom, the Lunar Remaster Collection, and Live Alive, just for reference. Alright, so once it reboots, you're greeted with this menu. Let's say you want to always boot into the emulated NAN, and you don't have to worry about that. So you want to go to Options, you want to click on the Auto Boot. And we're going to do CFW on Immunia. And then we're going to save. Okay. And we can go home. So for now, I can just click reboot and click normal. And now it should always boot into that emulated NAND. And you don't have to worry about it anymore. All right. So now we're back in. Okay. So. You want to pull that overlay up again, ZL, ZR, down. And now we have all this other stuff. So Eddie Zon, or Eddie Zeon, is your cheat application. FPS Locker is if you want to do 30 FPS. Um, these require patches. Not every game has them. Majority of them, like Tears of the Kingdom, Dragon Quest, and certain ones will be there. But that's for another video. Um... Reverse NX is how you go, you make the dot game docked 
handheld. So upping the resolution, but that also requires more power. So I'd advise overclocking. I'll do that for a separate video, but pretty much that's, that's really it. Let's see. Let's take a game for a test drive. Let's do Lunar. Oh, okay. Fuck is that good? All right, we'll do live alive. All right. Is there a game in it? There is not. All right. So let's launch this game. I'm just going to start it and update. So because of that, I can't play the game. Really? What about for this game? All right, Dragon Quest. Is that right? Ah, it's a software update. So essentially, when there's a software update, it stops you from being able to play these games. Now, had my, when I made the emulator NAND, had it been up to date, it wouldn't have prompted that. These games are loaded. If you do pirate games, well, they'll just work. You don't have to worry about all this extra stuff. But I don't pirate games, so that's the crap I deal with. Anyways, if you like this video, please leave a like and give me a subscribe and leave a comment if you want to see future videos. Until then, stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. You're the real MVPs. If you enjoyed this, smash that like button and subscribe. Catch you next time.